Hey, this, this is Matson, and welcome to our channel. Welcome back. In this episode, we are going to introduce Chinese New Year. <laughs> because as everybody knows, Chinese people like to have different kind of holidays <laughs> compared to Western people. Generally, uh, Chinese people have Chinese or Chinese Taiwanese or this whole region. We have like a lunar calendar, which is. Kind of like one month later than the normal calendar that you guys are using. Mm -hmm. So based on that calendar, there is a completely new year, and that is counted as a brand new year, like the way you celebrate those, uh, you know, new we year. We actually party. already had one video about Chinese New Year, yes. but we didn't really mention so many details. Okay. And today we would like to just talk about how it actually looks like. Period of time of. Chinese New Year is pretty long, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I would like to also know the details, the details, what to do in each day. We will say it in from two perspectives because uh -huh. actually I had a chance. Yes, experience. Yes, I had a chance. I, I was lucky that actually we went uh, there. I, want, I, I was in Taiwan mm -hmm. and that was the time of Chinese New Year. Actually. Yes, So exactly. I, I also experienced this. First of all, there's the New Year's Eve. So usually on the New Year's Eve, we will have like a New Year's Eve dinner. So it's similar to your Christmas dinner that mm -hmm. all the family members are gathering to together. And if you're already married, so the girl should go to husband's family on that day to have the dinner uh, together. Okay. Yeah. And on the dinner table, there are some important food. So there are a few food which should be included on the table. So first of all, mm -hmm. it's Chang Nian Cai. Chang Nian means like long leaf, long age, yeah? So, and it's basically t like very simple kind of vegetable you will eat mm -hmm. every, mm -hmm. I'm not sure every day, but oh. <laughs> Generally, you eat this vegetable, it's usually served in the soup version, mm -hmm. and you have to eat it and you shouldn't cut it because this uh, vegetable is quite big, quite long. So you should just eat it all at once mm -hmm. because it represents you will be long live. Aha, okay. Yeah. Long, long live, long like live long life. Vegetable. Yeah, long life, ah, okay. this kind of uh -huh. meaning. Yeah. And the second thing is about the fish because uh, usually we serve like a full fish, but you on the, at the new year, you shouldn't eat the head and the tail. You should just eat the middle part because there should be something left from the fish, which representing like in Chinese there's something called Nian Nian You Yu and Yu is fish so it's like uh, every year you will have something left you will not spend all your money your fortune mm -hmm. like this and the other food yeah so many superstitious people. yeah it's like lots of traditions that you have to follow and there are lots of taboo next thing is about the white carrot like this <laughs> like, can, uh, can you show this again <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> like this. <laughs> okay. And white carrot also um, because of the the sound it sounds like. So it's called cai tou. It's similar to the word which means like uh, good luck. So it's hao cai tou. These are kind of like the the basic one. So this has to be on the this kind of dinner table, yeah. yeah like traditional on the dinner second table. Day. Uh, usually at the New Year's Eve and on the second day, it should be any kind of dinner mm -hmm. happening at the New Year time should be included. I remember that there were so many things painted in red. On mm -hmm. the streets, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so many things to buy in those like corner stores and uh -huh. so on. And just you know, buy buy them regularly. This is like I don't know. There is a sign. There is something. This one says "Zhao Zhao Jin Bao," which means that it's gonna bring the fortune to you. Mm -hmm. If it shows anything, <laughs> no. <laughs> this like makeup. This you know. <laughs> and this one is the pineapple. Mm -hmm. The pineapple with. With luck, full on it. And I remember this one you gave to my parents the sign like this to mm -hmm, put on mm -hmm. the wall. Yeah? yeah, because also you can buy some little sticker like this, <laughs> and you can paint it. Not paint it. You can stick it on the wall. And remember, you have to stick it upside down because if it's upside down, it's called dao, like dao guo lai, like it's upside down, uh -huh. and it's the same. Mm, sound as arrive. So, mm -hmm. for example, if you paste the word 
fortune and you paste it upside down it means the fortune will arrive and i remember this as the used to be your money exactly oh like wow those, yeah. Yeah. And you have like many i think it represents some luck as well yeah i don't know what the pepper stands for but i don't know <laughs> Kind of interesting anyway, and some something like crackers. This. Crackers. Yeah, those, those are, are the fire crackers. crackers. Yeah. The fire ah, crackers. okay. So all of this together. Mm -hmm. That that one. Was, this one was more expensive. I remember. Oh, you remember that? Yes. Yeah. You can buy many of them in those stores. Very I think cheap. one of them costs around two zloty. One. I remember it was one, one two zloty, zloty, zloty or zloty. five zloty was super expensive. Yeah. Like like this, yeah. And usually those those are like the pop up shops mm -hmm. during Chinese New Year. So it's usually like a full street selling every and supply full that you need. And full street is covered with red. Yeah, redness totally. because red means luck. Yeah. So uh, there is another tradition that people is playing mahjong, which is like those pokers, but like mm -hmm. Chinese mahjong. Yeah. And uh, there's like this uh, superstitious that you should wear red underwear or red bra that you. Will secretly bring luck to your mm -hmm. gamble in taiwan they have many of those traditional temples uh -huh. actually you can see them in every corner uh -huh. and you know just you know modern city and then poof, it's there. <laughs> temple like your church yeah yes and we went to one of them i think it was like a main one in the city because mm -hmm. it was pretty big yeah usually what people do because it's the first day of the year yeah mm -hmm. so people will be staying in the queue maybe not a queue but there will be like a competition you have to be the first person to stick the, the incense mm -hmm. there's like a big burning they are before the temple they are the temple yeah, is yeah. not open yeah, yeah because usually it's like this there's a big temple and there's like a very big basket that's called the place to burn those incense because mm -hmm. the incense will bring your wishes to God like that yeah so the mission of this activity the person who do the first stick of the incense so you will have the great luck for the whole year and the other that people. doesn't mean that you have bad luck if you don't do that but <laughs> that people are trying to to be the number one of it uh -huh. yeah because you have the biggest luck ever okay. yeah so um my grandparents bring him and of, of course us to this activity it was also my first time so saw that so seeing that first time first time in your life i think so <laughs> i mean i saw that on tv but i've never been there personally and but the and the point is that when they are running to the to this whole temple mm -hmm. there people are just uh, opening those firecrackers yes yeah so <laughs> it looks very crazy because it's full of smoke uh -huh. full of loudness uh -huh. and those people are like running through it yeah, 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 yeah and they're just yeah, just, <laughs> yeah so <laughs> it was pretty crazy for, but very interesting like mm -hmm. i never experienced anything like this mm -hmm. and i actually because you know always this western films and so on they always show those crackers on the streets uh -huh, like it's uh -huh. so, so chinese or uh -huh. so taiwanese and also they are showing those dragons and stuff like that and it actually really exists like <laughs> i was there and it looks it looks the same to uh -huh, be honest uh -huh. yeah i was like i was speculating previously like no they are not doing it come uh -huh. on. and then they, we they are do. doing what i experienced is this whole family feeling yeah. because i was with uh, the whole family mm -hmm. the whole family so the aunts uh, she Uncle. has many aunts yeah <laughs> So every of them, you know, bring someone. So it's like so many people yeah. or so kids there. So many people together. And that was like a very magical time, mm -hmm. I think, because the whole family, you can see they are really spending time with each other, mm -hmm. not on the phone all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And uh, at the same time, they supposed to like working people uh -huh. supposed to give some money yeah, exactly. to kids, exactly. which is those red envelopes. Yeah, it's like the most happy time for kids for, kids, for people yeah. who are not working she's she's working but she still got <laughs> and i was surprised because i also got uh -huh. <laughs> like i am i that was very touching like i feel like i am they accept me Part like of the they, family, they, yeah. they really accept me and mm -hmm. you know every kid uh, everyone has to sit next to the grandpa grandma first and then they are giving the envelopes yeah you have to say some good words yes so <laughs> she was telling me to to say something in Chinese, <laughs> like I was practicing what to say uh -huh. to them, and then I say that, and they were like, ha oh. yeah, Very happy, very entertained, yeah, yeah. and then they give you the red envelope. <laughs> like, very, it's so stupid. It's like, however, how you sound like, but okay, okay, like those those, those kids. <laughs> Even one of her aunt 
gave me the coin, mm -hmm. those lucky coins, super mm -hmm. nice gift as well. Also because we like loudness, we feel like when we are loud together, we are creating lots of happiness, lots of positive energy, so you can see these crackers are creating noise and people are just chatting, making lots of fun at home, so it's usually like that and we're, we like to play, like you play Christmas song, yeah? so we also play those Chinese New Year song. Yeah. It's always the same, those cliche ones, but always <laughs> make you feel of like... Of course, oh, like in yeah. here. Yeah. And now let's talk about the things that you shouldn't do during the new year. Yeah. As we say, red is the lucky color. So on the opposite, you shouldn't wear darker colors. So black or white, actually. White also That's should funny. avoid it. Yeah. We are using white color on the funeral. So during uh, the Chinese New why. Year, it's better to avoid this color. And of course, black color. Mm -hmm. So only wear red, it's the safest color. Usually during the first day to fifth day of the new year, or at least the fourth day of the new year, you should not clean the house. We feel like at the beginning of the year, there's like luck everywhere, just like flying around in your house. So if you're cleaning, if you're throwing something outside your house, if you're pouring water outside your house, if you throw the trash outside your house, so you're throwing away the luck. Huh, huh. Yeah, so from the at the beginning you should not do that. So that's also why we have another tradition is to do like a massive cleaning before the Chinese New Year. Okay. And you should not swear, you should not say any bad words, any negative words. And you should never ever talk about death. Just this <laughs> word. Or number four, it's better <laughs> just avoid that. I remember the ridiculous monkey. And I remember this news where it was the monkey? It was the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and because I, I just remember we were most many times we were just sitting with her, uh, her parents, her sister and watching some things. Uh -huh. I always enjoy watching those uh, shows. This is fun, but I saw that there was like a, the newest, the, the biggest uh, trouble for everyone was that someone made a big sculpture <laughs> of like a monkey. The problem is how the monkey looks like. <laughs> Um, and for me it was very cool, I don't know why people hated it so much, yeah? And this year is going to be the dog's year. The dog's year. And I remember I am a monkey, actually. You're a monkey, I'm a sheep. <coughs> no, you... <laughs> yes, you're the monkey. <laughs> what, what spell is that? <laughs> Ma, ya. <yeah. laughs> Remember also when, when it's your year, you should be careful. Right? Yeah. Like it doesn't mean that because it's your year, it doesn't mean that it's gonna be good to you. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it it's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. It means that there is like like um, some you should be careful because mm -hmm. some bad things may happen to yeah, you it, for the whole year. In Chinese, it's called <laughs> Fan Tai Sui. So if you, it's the dogo's year, so if you are the dogo, so you should be careful because it means that the bad luck is exactly on the same direction mm. on the same rail so you will be having like a face-to-face -face confront that's why you should be careful what are the lucky words the lucky words of course first the happy new year so it's xin nian kuai le xin nian kuai le oh, oh wow <laughs> that's the only, love, the only <laughs> one that i know xin nian is new year kuai le is happy mm. wish you healthy so it's shen ti jian kang shen ti jian kang shen ti jian kang and then everything goes well, goes according to your wish. So, one shi ru yi. One shi ru yi. And usually people do this. I remember you were doing this. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I don't know why. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Some spell. Okay, and wish you lots of fortune. So, Cai Yuan Gun Gun Lai. What was that? Cai is the money. Mm -hmm. So, Cai Yuan is like money flow, you know, money comes in. <laughs> and Gun Gun means like rolling. <laughs> it's like a description Gun Gun Lai. So, Cai Yuan Gun Gun Lai. Like money will just keep rolling to me. Okay. Yeah. And nice. if someone is working, for example, you're wishing him that he will get the promotion as so, well. So something like Bu Bu Gao Shen. Bu Bu is like step by step. Mm -hmm. Gao means high. Sheng is like increase. Mm -hmm. So Bu Bu Gao Shen means you increase step by step. Cool. Bu Bu Gao Shen. 
<laughs> and we should live for a long, long, long time. So、mm-hmm. it's 长命百岁长命百岁 Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's pretty much it, I think. That's a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. So hope you guys like this video. Hope, hope you, you learn like, something. Enjoy it and learn it. Yeah,、long. and. During the Chinese New Year, in this year, it's gonna be starting from 14th of February to 21st of February,、mm-hmm. more or less like that. So during that time, if you meet any Chinese people, Taiwanese people, Hong Kongese people, so you can just say that you know something about it because you're watching my son channel. <laughs> <laughs> See you very soon. We love you. See you. Bye bye. Also, Froggy wants to say goodbye. Say. Tschüss.